What's up, it's Ashford78 here with you guys today, and this video you're about to see is a redstone tutorial. It is a nine digit combination lock, and it's a really, really awesome design. I fell in love with this contraption. It's, however, not my idea, it's CNB Minecraft's idea. Go check out his channel, he has some really, really cool stuff. He doesn't post anymore, though, I don't know why. So, He's very limited on his contraptions, but they are really, really cool. Like, he has an elevator. Um, he has multiple doors. He has this combination lock. He has a potion lab. He has some stuff like that. But this video you're about to see, as I was saying, was made by me, obviously. But it was made for me a long time ago. Well, not... I don't know quite how long ago, but I found it on something like this. It, this is my new USB drive or flash drive or whatever. This is my new one, but I found it on something one sim similar to this. And I decided, since I didn't post it on my old channel, that it would be a good idea to post it on my new channel, which is Smith Gaming. So I just wanted to let you guys know before this, before you saw this video, because there's a few differences in my voice, and there's one part I think in the video where I say sorry for not posting the intro with this, because I didn't want to post the intro with it, but obviously as you saw right before this clip that I did post the intro for it, but so that's one of the differences. And I just wanted to really let you guys know ahead of time so you didn't get confused. I just really, really like this tutorial, really like this contraption, and I didn't feel the need to, I didn't feel it was necessary to remake the whole tutorial and just put this clip in explaining it. So thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you liked the video, like the video. <laughs> Comment down below, suggestions, if you want to get a shout out, comment down below. And please, please, please subscribe because that helps me out a lot. This, that helps this channel out a lot. I really appreciate it, of course. Like always, I will always accept each and every one of your subscriptions. And maybe if it progresses, like I said, we can get new systems and stuff. Or new, yeah, new systems. That'll work. <laughs> but I thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy this tutorial from Minecraft. Peace. Yo, guys, what's up? It's Ash for 78 here with you guys today. And uh, today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit exciting. I'm going to be showing you how to build my nine digit combination lock in my redstone world. Okay, so you have a little base that you want to get into right there. I don't know why you want to get into it, but just say for whatever reason you want to get into it. Okay, but there's no switches or anything around that I can have access to, but there's this big, weird thingy with buttons on it. And so you decide, I'm going to go click this thingy with buttons on it. It's not doing anything. That's because it's a combination lock, and you don't know the passcode, and so it won't open. It won't open unless you... Type the exact correct passcode in. So I happen to know the passcode, which is one, two, three, four. Boom, it opens right up. Click this button, resets. Can pick out. Boom. Yeah, so that's how it works. So I promise you guys, it will not work any other way. Like, you have to type it that exact order, those exact buttons. Will not work any other way. So, don't pay attention to, like, this little door and these little paths of redstone. Those are, like, just sloppy things that we slap together, me and my brother. Or my brother and I. And just pay attention to the wool and stuff, because that's what we're going to be making today. And so, go, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to go on my tutorial world, I'm just going to make it right here, because why not? 
on. Need a button. But um, so you need redstone, building material. I'm just gonna do different different sections of wool because it's gonna be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Repeaters, redstone torches, obsidian. No block is optional. No block is completely optional. And a button. Let me go ahead and get some more wool out. Just so when the time comes, I can have some wool. Okay, so first thing, we're going to make our butt number pad. So, build a, just a 3x3 three by three, three by three thing, and then place buttons on it. So you should have 9 buttons, because this is a 9 digit combination lock. You want to go to the back of this pad and place torches on the back of the obsidian box. So what you have now done is isolated every torch, or every button to a torch. So once you press a button, it should power off the torch behind it. And as you can see, it it works. So now we're going to make the path for each one of these buttons to take. So right here at this bottom middle one, you want to dig right below it, and now five. So this one counting. One, two, three, four, five. Put redstone repeater so this does not connect with this torch. This is this repeater is important, otherwise this torch will power the redstone. It'll intercross between. So you want to fill this little ditch right here, come up and out one, and then place a repeater. That's this middle button is singled out. Let's see. Okay now the side the bottom sides are pretty easy. You just place a redstone right there and redstone right there. Just place one right in front of these two torches and you need repeaters in front of that redstone. So that should be our first row all isolated out. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to do our second row. Let's go ahead and start with the middle one. Middle one. You want to come out one like this some redstone and a repeater so you see how these are connected right we do not want that so just place two blocks right there so it is now three separate paths you can't have those connected otherwise it won't work so that's the middle torch done now we're going to do the sides just come out two from this torch right here place a repeater on the first one place a redstone on the second come out to repeater redstone and if you guys are wondering why I didn't do my intro it's because I was already on minecraft just messing around and stuff and I decided I'd do a tutorial I don't know why I didn't do it and so you can go ahead and just make fill this line with repeaters to make it nine long one two three four five six seven eight go ahead and add on to this side nine because we have nine digits up there and so we need nine different selections and so from the side we want to come repeater redstone repeater repeater never mind that's just going to be a little bit confusing don't go ahead and fill out the line that's just going to be confusing I mean you can if you want but I'm not going to do it so if you didn't catch that we need out from the side repeater redstone repeater repeater so that's your middle row all done so we press this button those power off press this one so power off press this one that'll power off okay so on the top row it's kinda difficult but we can do it uh, uh, we're gonna do the middle one first so come straight up from the middle one go out three pull it on top of this redstone come out like that and then down. Place a repeater at the end as always. And then repeater and then redstone. Why well, the reason I said redstone is because if you notice this one, we're doing the middle top, so this torch is gonna be able to power this block. We don't want that, so we gotta put a repeater right there so that torch doesn't have any contact with that redstone. So now this top middle should be connected to that one and it is sweet now we're gonna do the top sides the top sides 
you can see right here these two blocks you want to place redstone and redstone again these are touching just place on top of that so it's separate and then come out like this redstone repeater so again come down repeater redstone sweet so that should be the whole thing right here so we got one right there that works two right there that works three right there that works four that works five that works six seven eight and nine sweet so they're all isolated out now when I said the note blocks are completely optional this is what I'm talking about I would go ahead and put the uh, note blocks anyways because it makes it a little bit easier anyways so just fill in after these repeaters block of your choice and on top of these place torches if you're doing your right <coughs> sorry about that guys I have a little bit of cold but the torches should go out if you're doing it right and so on top of these we want to place note blocks and there. so now if you notice if we press a button note blocks will go off so each button has a sound effect to it and so now after this note block line right here we're gonna start actually getting into our decoders part so press or not press put repeaters after these blocks right here and they should continue the redstone circuit from the repeaters back here so like that and then you want to place another line and so here like if I want to like have four numbers in my combination so like if I like in the uh, example I did one two three four the example over there I did one two three four so that's four numbers one two three and four and so I would have one this line right here one two three four lines going out do not count these note blocks because these note blocks aren't decoders they're just sound effects so one two three four these lines right here are representing my numbers so like this is my first number in my combination so in that case would be one my second number goes right here and that in this case would be two third three four four so like if you wanna if you wanna like your combination to be one two three four five six seven eight nine you would have to make besides the notebooks one two three four five six seven eight nine it doesn't make nine all the way out but I'm just gonna do one two three four so I need to make four out again place torches on top of all of these and then come back and fill in the gaps with repeaters there, there, there. so all these should be going off boom so you should have something that looks like that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna after every line don't do this with the note block line but after every line dig down two and dig out until you reach the other side do this with every one of them
Last one right here. Whoops. Uh. Boom, like that. Then just go ahead and go a little staircase part right there. Okay, so now we're gonna actually figure out what our password is. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four. So your first digit, press the num press the number in your first press your first number in your combination. So mine's gonna be one because I want one, two, three, four. So whichever line of torches lights up that's that number so I press the number one button and this this line right here lit up so this is a number one line so in my first pink row of pink wool right here I'm going to break this block where my where the number one was and under there I'm gonna place a block with a redstone on top of it and then I'm gonna make a line out of this little trench out to here and then I'm gonna place a block on top of it just so this like doesn't get confusing I'm gonna go ahead and place a red block so I can tell which one is my combination and which one isn't my so like there's my number one and you don't want to place a torch back do not place a torch back and so my second number in my combination is gonna be two so I wanna press the two button find that row this is the very last row right here and in my second row of, or my second column of pink wool, not counting the note blocks, just remember that I'm going to, wherever the number two was, I'm going to break down, place a block, redstone, and then place the block back on top. Do not place the torch back. So you want to go under here. And. Now, I don't think you're going to need any, but if you need to, you can have repeaters, but I don't think you're going to need any. So now my third number in my combination is going to be 3, so I'm going to press the 3 button, and that's the line of 3. So my third my third digit column, going to break the block where the number 3 was, place a block, redstone, come back, connect it. there we go and then come back place the block no torch and now my last digit is going to be four my number four line is right here and my last and my last or my number four line I'm gonna break the block redstone come out place the block back Boom, so there's our um, decoder done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run it into an RS Norlock tray. Okay, so I'm going to be using black wool. And so I said, you can make this like however many digits you want. So I said one, two, three, four. I just want four numbers in my combination. So like if you wanted nine numbers in your combination, obviously it's not going to be the same pattern. But always, don't count the note blocks, always the first, always the first line or the first digit column you want to place three blocks of your choice out then on the second two leave a space then three then two and then if you keep on going three two three two it doesn't matter what the last one is the first one just the first one has to be three okay so after this you want to place a repeater and a repeater on the two long ones. And on the end end of these black lines place torches. Then just fill it out with redstone. And you want to come back here and looking this way at the decoder, you want to place blocks to the right of the torches. Always to the right. And you don't have to place one on this last one. And so under these black pieces of wool that you, or these blocks that you just placed, you want to place redstone. Totally normal that the two ones are already lit up. That's, that's good. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. And so next we're going to, at the end of each 
piece of black wool, we're going to place a piece of blue wool. And in between these blue wool, we're going to place black wool. Like so. And then on the back of these, or in, on the uh, blue wool, we're going to place torches facing outwards from the decoder. And on the black wool, we're going to have torches facing inward from the decoder. And you're going to want to extend the redstone line out to here. And also you want to place redstone on top of the black blocks. Now we're going to place repeaters on the end of the the blue block torches. So now the black tor the black block torches facing inwards here, Dakota, you want to dig down two. Place redstone and a repeater. Now on the three long, dig down three. Repeater, repeater, redstone, dig down, redstone, repeater, and it should look something like that. Now we're going to do the actual RS Norlatch. So, outwards of this repeater, or that, at the end of the repeater, you want to make these little L shapes and knock out the middle block or whatever you want to call it. So, up one and out one. So it should look like this. Now facing inwards to the decoder on the on these blue blocks, you want to place torches. So it should turn like this. Then on the back of these blue blocks, on the top of the one on the back, you just want to place redstone. So that's really the RS Norlot tree done. Now we're going to do the reset code, the reset part. So on the top of each blue block, place a red red or block of your choice. You, these don't have to be blue blocks, so the way I'm just writing the color. And then on the back of these blocks right here, you want to place just redstone torches so these this redstone should light up. Then on top of these blocks, you want to place redstone. So it should look like something like that. Now you want to right from each blue block of redstone, or what each block of redstone from each end of the line, like on the end of these lines right here, you want to come up from the redstone like that, and then you want to place torches facing back this way so they power this these little uh, redstone, this little redstone bit at the top. So, should look something like that. And so now, you see if we press the button, the first torch will light up. Press the second button, second torch will light up. Third torch, or the third button, and then four. All of them are lit up now. But we want them to go off like after I mess up or something so you can't just keep randomly clicking buttons and eventually get it so on each line you wanna place a block on top of all of the torches and bring it back to here in a second I just need to do something I need to turn these make sure these are off <laughs> Just want to do that, but you want to do this on every torch, even the one that you knocked out, even the one that you knocked out. But I know this is kind of time-consuming and annoying to do. Trust me, it's it's worth it. Now, after you've done this, let me just finish up real quick. These torches that you place down here, we can't have those in, uh, in your crossing with the redstone up here. So you want to place a repeater on top of everyone. Remember, they just go on a pattern like this. And then you can fill the rest with redstone 
yes, in front and back of the repeaters. All the way down. And guys, after this, you should have something that looks like this. You press, you press a button, and then that one will light up, and then you press second one. That torch should go off, and the next torch should go on. Third torch. Oh, see, we're almost there, but I mess up. All the torches go off, and bar 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 on failure. And so, like, if you don't press it, see, my, my code is 1, 2, 3, 4. If you don't press it 1, 2, 3, 4 in that exact order, none of the torches will light up. You can only do it step by step in the exact order. Yeah, and so, let's hook it up to something. Oops, never mind. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and clear this. I need this. This. Mm. Let's just, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and for you guys, I'm just gonna, like, connect it up to something. And also, if you want to, I watch Syndicate. <laughs> I watch Syndicate a lot, and, um, he has this thing where, um, if like, whoops, that was it. When he has this thing called a vault, and if you don't watch Syndicate, go watch him right now. Like, pause the video and go. <laughs> but he has this thing where if like someone gets his password, he has like a combination lock, and the game will tell him like your vault has been open or something. Yeah, your vault has been opened something like that and so like when this is powered like it is now then it will tell you that your vault has been opened but anyway so and now let's go ahead and ho hook up like a door and just so I can show you guys, I will show you that this is actually you can hide this pretty well. <laughs> it's really easy to hide. Just in case you guys want to see that. Cuz I I know I don't and a lot of you probably don't. I just don't like redstone all over the map so like we can do something like it Let's see if I can do this like this and like an iron door I don't know hold on something like that You can be creative of how you um open the doors and stuff. Oops. Let's say like that, and I want to open it. Just do it right there. Looks better. And then let's just go ahead and connect all this up. Don't want it to run out of source. And we should be able to just cover all this back up. Can cover this up now. And so now when we do our code.
your vault has been opened and the door opens. So that's pretty cool, guys. Right? Am I right? And so, if you get all of this, like, hooked up and stuff, you can make something like that. Or even better. I mean, my brother made that little piston door over there. That's pretty cool. And, yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, comment on what tutorial you want me to do next. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.